Thank you. Thank you very much. It's nice to see you. Nice to see all of your faces tonight. It's nice to not be wearing masks anymore, I gotta admit. Uh, and I'm not, it's not even for like political reasons. It's just like, I was getting tired of eye fucking myself in the mirror all the time. You know what I mean? Like, you ever catch yourself? Like, because look, from the mustache down, this is a very questionable decision, you know? <laughs> but from the eyes up, I was actually, I was very for masks. I was very in favor of masks. And I never, I never understood whenever people would like get in arguments about that and be like, well, you know, they don't do anything, right? Because it's like, you think that's going to make me not use them? <laughs> like, I studied transcendental meditation and I have a bachelor's degree in film. I live for pointless shit. <laughs> I did. I did actually. I uh, I learned I learned transcendental meditation. I planned this whole like th retreat for myself up in Mount Shasta. Got a guy to teach me and everything. And I, I just I wanted to have like this this moment of like self discovery. You know, it was a time in my life when I really needed that. The only thing I discovered in this process was uh, two nights. Uh, two nights is exactly the amount of time it takes before I'm comfortable masturbating in a stranger's house. That's. <laughs> I'm gonna switch gears here. Get out of the way. Get 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 away from the the sex stuff. I know some people find that gross. Um, probably the second worst thing about being molested is that um, is that I didn't get anything for it. You know, like a lot of comics right now like to gripe about participation trophies. And like, I didn't get shit for participating in that, you know? I got an unread copy of The Body Keeps the Score. That's, that's what I got out of that. Listen, I recognize this is a lot to take in while you're eating your Cobb salad, but um, just rest assured, I did the hard part. You know, it's all, that's, that's over. Tonight is just about, uh, you know, finding, finding some laughter in it, you know? I also recognize I look like Cheech right now, and that's, that's probably making this even more confusing. But I, 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 I do feel like, you know, I do, because here's the, here's the other part, is I didn't even remember it happened until after I applied to colleges. You know how much better those essays would have been? Every college application is always like, can you tell me about a difficult thing in your life that you've had to overcome? And I was just like, honestly, can't think of anything, but my teachers like me, so why don't you let me in anyway? I could have gotten into like Harvard. And probably not Harvard, but like, you know, UC Irvine or something. And look, I'm not asking for a lot, okay? But I do think I deserve something. I think that, I think that there should be like, like a like a government program, through which I can get like a coupon, you know, or like a card, where I'm granted the ability to eat one meal wherever I want. Just like once a month, for free. I don't think that's too much to ask. I don't think that's like too, you know, like I, because like a lot of times when I say this is what I want, people are like, well, don't you want justice? And it's like, no, I want ribeye. I want to order fish without asking what the market price is. But I don't think that that's gonna work out for me. So what I've been doing is uh, I've been Venmo requesting the person that did it to me every time I go out. Like every time I need an Uber from like a drunken night out or like a, you know, to cover a bill. And, uh, and just so they know what I'm referring to, I just put a little eggplant emoji and then a sad face next to it. <laughs> Thank you very much, I've been Alec Cole.